<clears throat> Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my Imperium Galactic Survival Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on the tools, weapons, hunting and mining and as much information as I can think of for the uh, start of playing Imperium Galactica. So given you basically what I want to do is just give you a basic general overview and idea of things and what you should be doing and not doing. So, okay, let's bring up my inventory first of all. The very first thing, before we get onto the tools and weapons, is the different foods and plants that you can find. Corn dogs will be your main source of food till you get a farm up and running. Varon roots will be your main source of healing. They're plants found spread across the landscape, looking just like that. And you'll see they give you 250 health, but they do deduct 50 from your food. Not a problem, just waffle a corn dog. Okay, there's also alien honey, which is another great source of food and a bit of health. Uh, textured plant po proteins, they give you uh, relief against poisonous bite, give you some food and health. Aloe vera, very useful for two reasons. One, for making spoiled food and also for using as an ingredient for further crafting options. And lastly, we have the pixie stalk, uh, which gives health and is effective against curing poisonous bites. So that's just a few of the uh, plants you can find. Moving on now, next the tools. There is a main tool that I will be using which is the drill until I can upgrade it to a tier 2 drill. The drill, you notice in the last episode we kept mining seaweed. The reason for that is uh, we're using going to use this seaweed to make biofuel. Biofuel is what you need for your drill. Until we upgrade it to the tier 2 then we'll be using something similar to this, charges. Um, so that's our main drill. You'll have a chainsaw which is for cutting down trees. Um, I'm not going to be using the chainsaw at all. In fact I'm going to store that in my survival constructor. I'm not going to use it and nor are you because we want to save our biofuel for the drill. Notice the drill has a capacity of 850 um, st uh, charge. That's what uh, one of these comes with. So I've got five. That should hopefully be plenty until I get a tier two drill. OK, moving on. You'll notice that the quest says uh, that it's given me to kill an animal and loot an animal. Well, I'm certainly not going to use my projection pistol, pistol for killing an animal. I'll die. So at this point I want to now explain experience and gaining levels. You will notice when you press the tab key that it brings up your inventory. Over here you've got a panel. You've got up here your health, your food, oxygen and stamina. If Whenever you do um, pick plants or go mining or discover new items on your map, you're going to gain experience. Uh, down here you can see that I'm level 6. Every time you pick something, kill an animal or do something else that gains you experience, your experience bar will go up. You will gain levels. When you gain a level, you will get points. Unlock points. You use these points in the tech trees. So if I click tech trees, you will see in here there are all sorts of different things you can learn from capital vessel bases, small vessels, hover vessels, miscellaneous, which covers uh, all these sorts of items, cargo boxes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, over here we've got tools. Now there's an important tool that I need to unlock, which is the multi tool. Now to unlock it, I'm going to need to use, so if I click on it, I'm going to need to use three points. I've got a hundred, well worth it, let's unlock it. So now I can craft that uh, multi-tool in my constructor. But what we're concerned with is the weapons. So if we go to the weapons tab, here is the weapon of choice. And it should be your weapon of choice. It's perfect, it's fantastic. It's a real elephant stopper. Not that there's elephants in Imperium, but if there were, this would be the weapon to stop them. So we select it. You'll notice it requires six unlock points, which again, I've got plenty, so let's unlock it. Okay, now that I've unlocked the assault rifle, I can now craft it. Now there's all different things up here we're gonna to need to unlock, but we will do it at a gradual pace and I will try to show you as I unlock them. So we've just unlocked the tools. If I click on this arrow, it takes us back to this window. 
So you can see, now with the different plants and foods they have perish timers. Be very careful that, that you don't let your food die, uh, perish, then you'll have nothing to eat. You can either put the food on the hot bar like that, or you can keep it in your inventory, press the left shift key and right click. That will then eat uh, or use that food or plant. So as you can see my food's just gone up. Right, let's craft a weapon. So if we press the F key on the constructor, if we now go to the weapons tab, you'll see in here I can now make an assault rifle. To make it I'm going to need one electronics and five metal components. Okay, so the metal components will be under components, cunningly enough. Here is the metal components. I need five. So one, two, three, four, five. Once we've got the five of them made, it's nice and quick. Okay, throw them into, see, you, you have to take them out the output, they go into your inventory, and then shift left click puts them into the constructor. Right, let's go back to weapons, uh, assault rifle, you can see now I can make it. So, there we go, we click on that. Now one thing we'll need to make for it is the ammunition. Looking at this, you can see the ammo is 5.8mm bullets, which is this over here. So we're going to need to make... Um, some of these. Now for each one that you create you will get 25 bullets so I'm going to create four but be careful because you're using your magnesium and metal pieces. Um, I've not found any magnesium deposits on the map yet but I'm quite sure I will do soon. Okay now we've got an assault rifle let's put that in slot one and now it's just a case of getting the ammunition. This will give me 100 bullets, 25 each. See, there's 25. The next, wait, I only did it once. Oh, I've run out of metal pieces. So let's make a load of metal pieces, which is here. Requires five um, iron ingots and will output 10. So let's make five. Now with the survival constructor you have to make all the subcomponents like I'm doing here with the metal pieces and metal components. When you get to the large constructor it makes all the subcomponents for you. How cool is that? Right, let's make this ammunition. So I want three more. Okay, now while that's creating, let's look at the tools, because remember I unlocked um, more tools. So here we're going to looking for the multi-tool, there it is. So I'm going to need to make one of them, I'm going to need one electronics. The multi-tool is for repairing and removing. So when I find an alien base, I can use this to strip the components from it into raw materials that I can use then in crafting. So it's ideal, a very good idea to make one. So we want one electronics. Okay, now create the multi-tool. The multi-tool will use the multi-charge. Okay, for that I need prom fuel packs. So the fuel packs are in components, here they are. Let's make 10 of them. You're always going to need fuel packs. Okay, there's the electronics, there's my multi tool, I'll put that in number 3. So the, the three tools I've got now are the drill, multi tool, and the fill and flatten. Okay, so if we switch back to the tools, you can see I can now make the multi charges. Each one will each for each one I make I'm gonna get three. So let's do four. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this just creating this because I don't actually use the need the multi tool in this episode, but we will need it in the next episode probably. Okay, so there we are, we've got a weapon and we've got our tools. Now to reload the uh, assault rifle with the ammunition in your pocket and you know that I've got a hundred you press the R key for R for Romeo notice in the bottom right it says reloading that's now going to put 25 bullets in there okay so I've got a quest to kill an animal and loot an animal I want to do two things I want to try and kill an animal to show you and loot an animal and then I want to get to doing some mining I need to mine because I want to start building a base 
um, because I need to start building, uh, working on a farm and the longer I leave it the more difficult it will be because I need to keep finding um, corn dogs. Right, there we go, there's a nice big uh, rhinoceros. Let's take it out, shall we? Look at that. Now it's, gonna, now it's angry. But, you know what? Not a problem. There you go. Look at that. How cool is that? There we go. So I've done that quest. Killed an animal. If we press the F key to loot it, you're going to get meat. Raw meat, we can make some salami. So we'll grab that. And I've done the quest. Okay, let's quickly cook some salami. Not that I need it. Oh, there's some sugar cane. We'll grab that. But just to update the quest. So let's quickly run to my survival constructor press the F key uh, throw the salami in now if we go to the knife and fork and there we go salami or you can do grilled steak the best one though if you look at this perish time 25 food 100 health 10 this one perish time 70 no brainer do the salami okay let's just grab them, throw the fuel packs in there, throw that in there, throw that in there. See the food, when it perishes it turns into spoiled food. We're going to need spoiled food very badly to make our farm. So keep all of your spoiled food. Keep it in your constructor for now. Okay, there's some salami, great, we got something else to munch on. We've got corn dogs and we got salami. Right, okay, so what does the quest say now? Craft an assault rifle, craft ammo. Right, okay, I did it back to front. So, never mind, you know how to do both of them. Let's get mining. Okay, over here, you'll notice I've got silicon not far away and iron even closer. So let's demonstrate mining with iron. Now, this mining works slightly differently in Imperium in the fact that you don't have to mine a deep tunnel to get to the ore. The ores are very close to the surface. Oh, don't crash on me. No, don't do it. I want to show mining. Right, okay, so ores are very close to the surface. So what you'll do is get attacked by a spider. Oh, for goodness sake, this game doesn't want me to record. Die. Right, out of ammo, quickly reload. Ugh. Okay, spider's dead. Did it poison me? Let's have a look. No, I don't think so. If it did, I would have munched this pixie stalk. Okay, for now, let's loot it. There we go, more meat, more resources, cool. Right, back to mining. Oh, go away. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. The, everything's against me at the moment, but it's not going to stop me, you know. Okay, so here we are. We're going to switch to the drill, and then we're just going to left-click and start to drill down. We're going to do a big crater around this iron. You're going to see that the iron will be very close to the surface, and you will see it because the texture is different. Okay, there you go. Can you see the iron? See how close it is to the surface? So that's why I'm going to do a massive uh, crater. So one, it's easy for me to get in and out, and two, I will ex um, basically show the whole area that the iron is located in. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now with the tier one drill, as you mine, you have to pick the items up. But with the tier two drill that we're gonna be progressing on to, it gathers the items for you on its own. Now this crush stone is very important. We're going to be needing it to build our base. You're going to want loads of it and trust me when I tell you loads. So grab it all. Don't leave any on the ground. Okay so I'm going to keep working my way. Notice the ammo's going down but we've got plenty of uh, we got plenty of ammunition. I've still got five in my pocket for recharging. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to all the different resources and mine about a hundred of each. 
because in the next episode what I really want to do is two things one I want to show upgrading to the two tier drill and two I want to start building a base as soon as I can because as you can see when you're out in the wild with no protective building structure to hide in uh, animals like spiders, raptors, all sorts of creatures and rocket drones will attack us oh there's a timer but I shall keep going for a minute will keep attacking us so we need a base to hide in okay so you can see I'm not going deep what I'm doing is I'm just widening the area to see where all the iron is located once I know the perimeter of the iron then I can start mining down but I don't want to make it difficult to get to any of the iron so therefore I'm just expanding it and you can apply this same logic to all the different resource uh, nodes in the ground like the magnesium, the silicon, the copper and uh, cobalt all the other resources you will do exactly the same as this when you're mining underground now if you press the left click key button, mouse button, it drills at normal speed. If you press the right mouse button as well, it will drill even quicker, but it will use up your ammunition quicker. You see that uh, message, it's not a problem, just ignore it. Remember this game is still in early development, so don't be harsh on it. It doesn't boot me out, it doesn't crash, so it's not a problem. Now, um, I will say to you that eventually you, want, you will want to mine at least a thousand of each resource. But don't go doing it with your tier 1 drill, otherwise you may leave, you may uh, lo lose the will to live. So you want to be using the tier 2 drill. I'm just showing you with the tier 1 drill how to mine because a lot of you will be starting with it but as soon as you can you will be progressing to the tier 2 drill because it is a totally brilliant upgrade okay so you see I'm trying to keep it all level all about roughly the same height but I'm also trying to see how far it reaches the iron deposit in each direction Yeah, it does take a little while to mine, but remember with the tier 2 drill it picks all of the resources up for you. Right, having said that, I better start picking some of these up now. Another thing to note is that you can be right at a big distance away from the resources, but you see it's still picking them up. So you just press the F key over them, scan the area, and even items right over the other side of this crater I'm able to pick up. So just walk around pressing the F key, picking up all of what you've just drilled, like so. So I'm going to be busy now going around gathering up resources from the different nodes that I see in the map and I want to accumulate loads for the next episode so like I say we can I can start to build a base and um, also though more importantly I want to show you how to upgrade the drill you might be thinking well, why are you worrying about the drill for now the, it's fundamental uh, we need so many resources and you want it to be as painless as possible trust me using the tier 1 drill will drive you crazy and you will lo lose the will to live with it whereas using the tier 2 drill you will find it very enjoyable mining all the different resources remember when you mine start very shallow on the surface and I'm going to keep expanding this into a massive crater for as far as the iron reaches right okay so that's the mining and um, the uh, two resources I've been getting are iron ore which is for construction and the crushed stone which I'll be turning into cement in order to make a base but I'll be showing you all of that anyway so that's the objectives met for today I've done the quest uh, I'm just gonna go and create another assault rifle and some ammo so what you know it's no big no big problem anyway there we are that's it for this episode in the next episode we are gonna do one of two things well no we're gonna go look at the Titan the crash Titan and we're gonna take out a drone wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last one of you safe Thank you for watching.
and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.